guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie and if you guys like plants or reptiles, make sure to subscribe down below. Okay, today I'm going to be doing my philodendron pink princess unboxing. I don't know if I'm nervous or excited because it was supposed to be delivered on Thursday. Well, Thursday was like the absolute latest because it was priority mail and the seller shipped it out on Monday. And it's now Friday. I'm still waiting for it. USPS sucks. Like, they never update any of their information. It was in Newark for two days. And Newark's like an hour from me. So that just also didn't make sense. And the seller lives in Connecticut. After it left Connecticut, it went to Massachusetts. Which is above Connecticut. And New Jersey is below Connecticut. So that kind of just made me angry. Because I don't understand why it went up to go down I don't know whatever I updated it this morning when I woke up like literally as soon as I opened up my eyes and it says between 8 30 a.m. and 9 30 a.m. and now it's 9 40 a.m. and it's still not here and it also said too like straight from the jump that it was gonna be delivered on Saturday which priority mail is three days so Three days from Monday is not Saturday. I don't know. You guys can avoid shipping live things in the winter. I would highly suggest it. The only reason I bought an expensive plant in the winter is because I found it for a really good price. That's literally the only reason. Otherwise, I would have just waited till spring to order plants through the mail. I usually just like to go to nurseries and buy my plants that way like in person but to get your hands on some things you have to order them so I found this pink princess for a really good price on a Facebook purge and I scooped it up I'm hoping that the seller packaged really well because you know USPS beats up their boxes if you guys didn't watch my last plant unboxing USPS literally destroyed the box like there was a gaping hole in it and yeah it was not good so i'm hoping that that's not the case with this because it's a way more expensive plant i feel a sneeze coming on <laughs> else hate sneezing because i hate sneezing i just updated it and now it's saying 11 30 a.m if it doesn't come today i will go to the post office myself i'm just rambling now but i get that they're very busy and they're understaffed and like covid and whatever but if you cannot ship priority or express or overnight like you shouldn't have that option for people to buy like if you cannot ship a package within three days you should not make that option available to people you know what i'm saying like i just my opinion and it's like i feel like they just care more about getting the money because you obviously pay more for priority or express or overnight than you would for first class. I said in my last plant unboxing video that I prefer not to use USPS and whenever I have the option to not use them, I take it. I will quickly go over pricing then I'm gonna go eat and make some coffee before my plant comes because if I don't have coffee in me and this box comes messed up, I'm just gonna lose it honestly. So all together, it was $169, which for a full plant pink princess, that is like an insanely good price because people sell single leaf cuttings for that much. Usually like full plants are going for like 300, 400, like depending on the variegation and how much pink it is and you know, stuff like that. So when I saw this lady offering it for, I think it was like 150, because it came to 169 total with all the other things, which I'll get into. She was selling it for like 150 and the variegation isn't super crazy on it, but I bought it because of the stem. And that's really what you have to look out for in variegated plants is their stem. Because they can have the prettiest leaves ever and their stem has no variegation on it. Next leaves that are going to come out aren't going to be variegated. So you want to make sure that it has a really good stem. There was another one that I was interested in that was the same price and it had prettier leaves but less variegation in the stem. So I decided to go with the plant that had more variegation in the stem. It was more promising. I thought that, you know, in the future it'll give me nicer leaves. Also, I hope this lighting is okay. I really couldn't be bothered with moving my camera around like 300 times in my apartment to 
find a good spot so I know I have more light on this side of my face than on this side but I'm just working with what I got okay so I pulled it up the plant itself was 150 shipping was $10 the extra insurance because it's only insured for up to $100 and because the plant was over $100 I wanted it to be insured from like all of the plant so I had to pay extra for it to be I'm explaining this very confusing I paid extra to have it insured for up to $200 long story short the full plant would be covered okay anyway so that was five dollars for the extra $100 for insurance and then the heat pack was four dollars so all together it came to $169 which is crazy like that's such a good price and if I can get fancy in editing I will put up the pictures that the seller sent me somewhere over here maybe if I can do it <laughs> I don't know if I could do it but if they're here then I figured it out and if they're not here you're not even gonna see this part of the video I'm going to eat something drink my coffee and refresh my phone every two seconds to see if my plants here <laughs> I will be back hopefully fingers crossed with the plant that's alive hopefully the plants alive Oh god, please let the plant be alive. It came! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited I'm gonna throw up. The box is in perfect condition, like literally. And it's really big, whoa. The girl wrote like fragile, she wrote, I'm not gonna show you because my address is up there. But she wrote like top all over the top of it so that I guess they didn't put it upside down. Also put like a live plant sticker on the top as well. <gasps> I shouldn't put my face on that. Whatever. I paid $200. Oh my god, you guys. Hold on. Pause really quick. My freaking Calathea Freddy. I've had this plant for kind of a long time now and it hasn't given leaves. And I just looked over and there was like four new leaves popping out. I don't know if you could see any in there. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! On to the star of the show. Everybody's blowing up my phone now because I've been freaking out about this plant. Wait, wait, let's see what Veronica said back. Oh, she wrote me a chat. I thought she was gonna reply back with the video. I would've put it in here. I'll show you guys the video I sent her. That was a snapchat. Not that important. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. What do I do? You guys can't even see what I'm doing. It's fine. Just picture me cutting into a box. I am so freaking happy. I am so happy that this box isn't messed up because I thought it was gonna at least have a hole in it. I swear that it's like they punch, you know, your package and they're like, all right, good day. We got the box open. My cats are running around crazy right now. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to film a video. You're being rude. This is what it looks like so far. This is the first layer. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm literally throwing this on my floor because I just, I don't even care at this point. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my. Oh, I'm gonna shit myself. I'm literally going to shit myself. The heat pack is literally frozen. Like. I mean, it's, it's really frozen. Um, we're just gonna toss that. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing right now. That new leaf, okay. So if I was fancy enough and I put those pictures over here, you know how I did that thing? It had a new leaf unfurling and that is also another reason why I bought this plant is because the pink on that leaf, cause it was like wrapped up, it looked very promising. So I was like, okay, between the stem and that new leaf, like I'm buying that one. The leaf is unfurled, you guys. It's unfurled, and holy crap. This is what I'm seeing right now. Dude, can my phone shut up? Oh, it was Brie. <laughs> it was Brie replying to my Instagram story. I love her. She goes, you crack me up. Hi, Brie, if you're watching. Okay, so she taped it into the bottom of the box. Yo, this thing is like a good size. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, can you just detach from the box, please? Oh. My. God. 
No way. No way. There is no way this is mine. Look at this new leaf. Please focus, camera. I don't have time to deal with you. This thing is so beautiful. There's also one little tiny yellow leaf, which, again, is expected. I hope this lighting is okay, you guys. I also hope... I also hope that it's focused. This was the leaf that had the most pink on it at the time. This is pretty much the only leaf that had pink on it when I purchased it. And it is very small. The leaf is big, but the variegation on it is very small. It's still beautiful. This is the leaf that was all rolled up that I thought was just gonna be so beautiful. And oh my God, was I right? I also love how dark it is. Like look how dark that leaf is. It's like a really nice contrast to the pink. And then all the other leaves kind of just have splashes on them. The stem. This new leaf is so pretty. Like, so pretty. It's so cold. This is a really decent sized plant. Wow, I am just, I don't even know what to say right now i i really don't know what to say this is crazy i really expected the worst and she packaged so amazing i will give you her name i wish i had the name of her shop because i i believe that she does have a shop from her post that's kind of what it seemed like her name is morgan that was her name. I'm gonna contact her and try to get the name of her shop. Um, and if I do and she gives it to me, I'm gonna put it down below. So if you guys wanna order from her or anything like that, you can because she obviously packages amazing and she has gorgeous plants and amazing prices as well. Right now I'm just taking all this saran wrap off so that I could get to the soil. I'm assuming the roots are good because there's obviously a new leaf and um, I don't know if you guys can even see, but there is another leaf coming off of the new leaf. I don't know if you can see. It's really tiny, but it's it's working its way out. The soil is still moist. So that's good. Um, I'm probably not going to water it then. I was only going to water if it was dry. And it's just really cold. Like the plant itself is, is freezing. I only have like three other philodendron. And they do grow pretty fast, actually. I'm just going to cut off that, like, yellow leaf. Because we want it to focus its energy on the new guys and not the dead guys. Look at how big that is. It's like the size of my head. I'm going to try to get you more stem shots. You could see the pink there. If it's in focus, I really can't tell. But you could see the pink on that stem. This new leaf has really pretty variegation on the stem on the side. Look at that leaf. I'm really impressed with how she packaged this. This was so great and I mean, even though the heat pack stopped working like a day and a half ago, the plant is still perfect. Like, I mean, it's literally perfect. Again, that yellow leaf was just from the stress of shipping. It, it happens. It's not like anything crazy. I am just so happy and pleased with this plant. Like, oh my God. This is so beautiful. And this is one of my top wishlist plants. This and an uh, elbow. And I finally got it. Okay, you guys, so that was it for the video. I could literally sit here for three hours talking about this and telling you how pretty it is. And I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna spare you guys. I'm also going to just clean it off, like wet it down in the sink, just in case if there are any pests on it or anything. And then I will also wipe it down in neem oil. Not the new leaf because they're more fragile, but all the other leaves, I will wipe the front and the backs down in neem oil. And then I'm going to put it on my rack where my humidifier is so that it can get warm and humid and start to acclimate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.